energized up. Let's go see what the mitochondria is all about. The mitochondria is an organelle that provides the cell the energy that needs for movement, division, and production of secretory objects. In short, they're the power centers of the cell. They're about the size of bacteria, but may have many different shapes due to cell type. The mitochondria has two membranes, an outer membrane that is a simple phospholipid bilayer and an inner membrane that is freely permeable only to water, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. Inside the mitochondria is the matrix. The matrix contains enzymes that are responsible for the citric acid cycle reactions. This viscous space also houses ribosomes, granules, crystal, DNA. There are also particles that synthesize ATP in the mitochondria. Overall, the mitochondria can be anywhere within the cytoplasm of the cell. We also have a special guest today, a professor who specializes in mitochondria. I am Professor Watersberg with today's news on the mitochondria. The mitochondria is the most important and most incredible of all organelles in our system and it is found in eukaryotic cells. It is involved in cellular respiration is involved in making ATP. ATP is then used for various cell functions, one of which is active transport. Ah, Petri dish, what are you doing in my neck of the cell? I'm here to learn more about the mitochondria. Ah, uh, the mitochondria. Mitochondria are the gatekeepers of the life and death of most cells in the body. They are the ones who hold the key. And mitochondria, like all other organelles in the body, are affected by disease. Mitochondria contain their own DNA, different from the DNA found in the nucleus. This makes mitochondria different from all other organelles who don't have their own DNA. Having the critical role that the mitochondria have in the cell under the severe stress conditions can cause mutations in the mitochondria's DNA or mtDNA. The process of converting food and oxygen into energy requires a large number of chemical reactions. These chemical reactions need to run smoothly without error to give the cell the energy it needs to maintain its function. If one part of the process fails or it goes incomplete, it can turn into a poison for the body. Due to the importance of the mitochondria, discovering its defunctions and function is key to human health. Mitochondrial Research and Innovation Group, or MRIG, is committed to be the leader in mitochondrial research and development, paying close attention to the effects and causes of the mitochondrial diseases and other diseases. In relation to other cells, the mitochondria reaches out and help and works with other organelles in the cell. For example, the cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton and the mitochondria work together to help transport the energy the mitochondria creates and transport the mitochondria itself throughout the cell. Mitochondria also works with the ribosome who are inside the mitochondria and that synthesize protein. Without the mitochondria, the cell would look like this. If, if even that, you know, the mitochondria produces energy needed for the for the organelles to live out their daily activities to maintain the cell's performance. So it's all up to the mitochondria, the hardworking mitochondria, to save the day. Remember, where would you be without the mitochondria?